hey guys welcome back to our channel today i am going to be doing another devops video i am going to be talking about devops what is devops and why we should devops devops is the combination of cultural philosophies practices and tools that increases an organization's ability to deliver applications and services at a high velocity so next question which comes in to our mind is why do we need devops so if i want to answer that question i have to look at our typical delivery process which is nothing but uh, getting out of compilation doing a build doing unit testing quality testing deployment so a typical ci cd uh, pipeline have various uh, processes and uh, various quality gates now how do we matricize these uh, processes and how do we optimize these processes is what we achieve by doing devops so there there are there should be no silos there should be proper integration of all the teams and there should be shared tooling for all the teams so this is what we achieve by easing out the processes in a typical delivery process that's why we need devops now let us start with a project and say we do not have devops so what can be the common bottlenecks in a software delivery process if you see the frame we have some manual activities in the project or even in our ci cd pipeline so <clears throat> Uh, to automate them we need devops and then we can have in proper configuration management right so to correct all these problems in a delivery process we need devops but that is not all for example you might be doing manual testing if you look at the right of your screen or you might be doing manual deployments or there could be knowledge gaps between your ops and dev teams or the developer is waiting for qa or vice versa the qa is waiting for the environment from the dev team so there can be many problems for example lack of shared tools for example ci tool is not shared so there can be different objective and priorities of dev and op teams and even the qa teams which can be corrected by uh, nothing but devops which is not selling of tool but implementing of correct practices so let's have a look now at the solution so solution lies within devops so devops is nothing but bridging the gap between development and operation teams so devops is a culture and a set of practices that emphasize close collaboration between your team so be, be it dev team be it qa team or be it testing team and IT operations start through all the phases of software delivery process to enhance productivity, reduce mean time to delivery and quality of the overall system. So if you look at a particular pipeline within a small or a big project, it is something similar to what I am showing on screen. So the converging of processes, be it CI, CD or tools and establishing a shared tool for automation is called as DevOps. So it works on the basic principle of collaboration of people be it your development infrastructure or operation teams also devops works very closely with agile so devops is nothing but an extension to agile development processes agile software development methodology describe a set of principle that focuses on the development of a software with business and development team but devops on the other hand is responsible for development as well as deployment so ci as well as cd of the pro software by bringing development business and operations teams together if you look at this pipeline which i am showing ci and cd is inside an infinite loop which means my uh, operation also sends particular feedback alerts monitoring as well as logging this is a typical pipeline wherein you compile, you do your analysis, you do your testing, you do your quality testing and you generate reports which is a part of your infinite loop. Then you do your SIT, then you promote, then you do your CD and then you operate. So this is nothing but understanding of business as well as development and you know at the end of the day cutting cost for your ops as well. Let us now look at a particular or a typical DevOps implementation project or how we are going to implement it. Do we implement it from the very first day or there is a different project or do we need some special team members? So Dev DevOps implementation strategy is very easy. It reduces the channel challenges by mitigating risk. So first of, the, first of all, DevOps team will do a particular analysis on the playground of a particular project that how it stands as of today and then we look at the design then we do 
proposals on how we should improve our design and then we see okay what is my transformation goal how my transformation will help then we support the transformation with the project teams and then at the end of the day when everything is transformed we do the optimization how we calculate the matrices and see if it makes sense to implement these transformation in the project right so this is nothing but a simple devops implementation strategy we start with analysis of the current playground of the current project now let us have a look at uh, an overview of a typical uh, devops uh, pipeline uh, which is nothing but uh, inculcation of uh, or implementation and integration of tools uh, depending on your tech stack be it java or dot net uh, also uh, continuous delivery via infrastructure as a code which you can achieve by chef or puppet or ansible or even cloud formation templates at the end of the day it is integration which matters be it integration with your atlassian tool chain which is nothing but jira bitbucket and git and your ci tool integration for example jenkins having a webhook with bitbucket and how you are doing your code analysis how do you are doing your code quality for example with sonar and how you are doing your testing automation you are spawning a particular server do doing the testing there getting the testing result and the end of the day you are destroying that particular vm which you used for testing so how you utilize your resources is also a particular part of devops strategy again your can there can be multiple environments for uh, your cd which can be a delivery which can be deployment so uh, a typical tool chain is what uh, you are looking at your screen right now now let's have a look at uh, typical devops team topology which is nothing but how you set up your teams across uh, different teams for example dev and ops there can be multiple product teams which can be working on multiple uh, features for example there can be a feature one team or feature two team or a product one team or a product two team so a uh, devops says there can be a temporarily shared tools team which emphasize on infrastructure as a code integration of shared components and continuous delivery uh, that can be given for predefined duration this team boosts the devops implementation within the organization while launching new tools and technology so the temporary support team to support initial devops uh, solution as a part of tool or team itself now you might have also a question in your mind that why do we need shared teams or shared tool teams i'll give you a simple example let us say you set up your uh, environments with uh, ansible you just have to run a particular task inside a role which is nothing but creation of environment now your dev team can use it when they uh, use your dev environments for uh, their code compilation and similar code can be given to your testing team so that QA is not waiting for dev teams to relinquish a environment and vice versa that they are also not waiting for uh, uh, QA results to come in because then they can see on the same playground now uh, developers will not have the question like it works on my computer I don't know why it, it is not working on your computer now with infrastructure as code for example with Ansible both dev and uh, QA teams might have the same playing ground as in the same team now after doing all this stuff uh, the main question is whether devops add any value or uh, in simpler terms whether there is any business value to devops yes there is uh, for example when we introduce tooling the immediate need is for standard process for automatic build faster deployments with one click or even zero touch deployments quick report during development cycle this helps basically to increase the business value or phase two would be integrating the core components now it brings more innovative approaches within teams once we introduce the new way of working via integrating atlassian tools with for example like jenkins with jira or jenkins with git and implementing something like webhooks with git which uh, fires a build in jenkins it is easy to debug the solution because of efficient management of code it also boosts productivity with often release plans we can have weekly or uh, bi-weekly release plans and obviously it reduces operational costs 
at the end of it phase 3 would be enhancement for example we can improve product delivery to customer by reducing time to market we can tune more product more quickly as per customer needs with enhanced integration framework for different modules we can have maximum level of automation which will introduce another layer of security we can have pen test we can have security test within our jenkins pipeline now what are the challenges of this implementation well if we talk about challenges obviously change is what we always oppose so shifting technology is coming complex so devops tooling is a challenging task based on existing legacy environment with the rise of hybrid solution by aws azure gcp alibaba cloud or even oracle cloud now um, how it is compatible with our existing system is a problem cultural change is, is a human uh, tendency where devops should be a part of the social system uh, process orchestration is what our team will have to uh, progress on and obviously dependent system should become interdependent for example orchestration tools needs to come in and uh, we need not to rely on silos basically so these are some of the implementation challenges it is more on the human side rather on the technological side because once uh, we we see the benefits of devops then implementing or shifting technology becomes easier another aspect is how do we measure continuous uh, devops what are the matrices how do we measure whether a particular devops technology or a process is helping me or not so that is, is is a question which needs to be addressed here because ultimately at the end of the day management is also interested whether they are spending money on a correct thing or not so how do we measure devops we can measure it via certain parameters which can be your deployment frequency which can be your change volume and obviously the need time from devops development to deployment from CI to CD and your release cycles and also the percentage of failed deployments your mean time to recovery and at the end of the day your customer ticket volume your service desk volume percentage change in user volume how you are growing your platform and obviously high availability is there uh, the flexibility is there you can measure that and performance response time can be measured you can have your logging your monitoring setup you can see how available your system is how uh, highly available your system is how the router is uh, behaving how the traffic is being uh, used by uh, load balancers and how the code quality is increased via testing automation now what could be your maturity model how do you start and where do you see that you have achieved the optimized level now this can be a complex exercise but uh, um, as you see on the screen i have uh, given definite uh, uh, goal post where you can see okay where do you stand as of now and where do you want to uh, reach as your goal post how optimized you want to do your devops um, uh, project or how uh, easy or what make sense for you for example a defined project might work very well if it is a small project and if it is a big project you might want to achieve the optimized level if you see in level zero or the initial level there is no devops awareness devops experience and skills are missing uh, or there is poor or ad hoc communication and coordination wherein in optimized level you might get cross-functional teams you might have process and cost optimization teams are enthusiastic about devops at the end of the day they enable security and governance for resource inventory configuration history is maintained and configuration change notifications are also monitored for example as i always say monitoring and logging is the uh, building block of devops now you might uh, want to also see that if you reach the defined level you might still be having a good devops practice and that might suit a very small project so in in a defined uh, devops uh, maturity model you have partial devops experience and skill existing but a positive uh, sentiments on the devops process because that is where you can grow from right so there can be extended team collaboration some process elements can be reused right so uh, your binary storage can be improved your uh, for example nexus can be implemented where you uh, you know uh, your repository system can be implemented you might have local docker repository if you don't want to go to the internet you might have local repositories so in-depth component information is there log analysis is there matrices are injected for everything for example uh, you can have guidelines you can have iam authorization you can have assessment and auditing but uh, main point is self healing even if you have reached defined or major state i would say 
please measure your matrices so i would like to tell you all that this infinite loop might look uh, very very difficult or complex but at the end of the day it matters software and the internet have transformed the world and its industries from shopping to entertainment and to banking i hope you like this video and if you have still questions please write down in the comment section give us a thumbs up give us a like do subscribe to the channel and let me know what topic interests you so that i can come up with new topics every day for you thank you very much for watching this video i appreciate your patience for this long video and also i look forward to seeing you in our next videos thank you so much Let it go, let it go.